C sharp programming language supports delegates and out of box it provides two built-in delegates which is action and func and between these two delegates it provides a various number of input parameter options that usually you don't have to create your own delegate the fundamental difference between action and func is that action do not return any output its output parameter is always void but it supports 0 to 16 input parameters so the number of input parameter can be 0 or at max it can be 16 here i have given 0 parameter and here i have given 1 but it can go up to 16 similarly for func it can take 0 to 16 input parameter and one output parameter always and this is how we can declare them and then we can call them in this manner so if we have to call print we can call like this if we have to call square we can call this way square that's how it usually done but both of these delegates or both of the two types of delegate that we have here they can be declared in a lambda format so if we have to declare them in lambda format first let's start with action square so what we can do here is we can declare something like bar square lambda equal to dx And here we can do x times x. So now here the square lambda is going to end up becoming a function. Why it is end up becoming a function? Because here we are just doing this two, which is going to try to return this output. Now if we want to act it as a function, all we have to do is console dot right line of x time x now if we do that this will end up becoming an action as you can see here so the compiler will by default understand what is the intent based on what is happening here if it have any return or do not have any return based on that it will choose what to do now similarly this should not have been a square because we are doing an addition here so we can just say Add function. Similarly, we can have var add lambda x, and here we can just say x. x. So now this will act like a func. It is taking an integer and returning an integer. Now here we are taking an integer and returning a string. So we can do the exact same thing. To string, and now this will act exactly like this add function. So this is how it's going to behave. Now, if we have to call this, we can say square lambda. And then we have to pass an integer. So let's pass 5 here. And then we can say add lambda. And similarly, we can pass 5 here. Now, add lambda, the difference between square lambda and add lambda is add lambda is returning a string. So let's print that string out. So we can do console dot right line and we can print the output from add lambda now let's run this application if we run this we should see 25 and 10 as expected it's 5 times 5 is 25 and 5 plus 5 is 10 now what we can do is this is where we can use the default parameter for c sharp so here you can go ahead and say equal to 4 and if we do equal to 4 what we can do is we can also call square lambda without any parameter and it's not going to throw any error because it's going to take the default value of 4 so now if we run this application we should see 25 16 and 10 as expected similarly we can do the same thing here 
console dot right line and you can call add lambda without any parameter it's failing because we have not set the default so let's go ahead and set default value here set the default value of 4 and now it should be 25 16 10 and 8 as expected as you can see now apart from using default parameter into the lambda itself we can also use a default parameter in delegate so this is how we can declare delegate so i have a class here i have declared two delegates private delegate void print delegate which is a void returns nothing and prints something and then i have private delegate void square delegate which also returns nothing basically returning void but it takes a parameter of type int so here i have a print method which just declares the print delegate provides a implementation to it through lambda and then it calls the print delegate similarly i have a square method which takes an input parameter square inside of square method i'm creating square delegate with its own parameter and then i'm going to do a console dot write line of this calling this guy and then I'm calling the square delegate variable that I declared passing the input parameter. Okay. Now, if I go ahead here and let me get rid of these calls because we already demonstrated them. But the test declared a new test. New test. And then I can call test.print test of square and square it's showing a red squiggly because we have to pass the parameter so we're going to pass 5 now let's run this and it's going to behave the same way it's going to print out the test and 25 now if I go back here and for the square delegate for the square delegate here if I pass in equal to 5 then here, when I do this, I can get rid of this Y. See, I don't have to pass Y anymore. So this also becomes technically immaterial. But So now I'm going to go ahead. I still have to pass 5 here because the square itself requires it. But I can get rid of this as I have a default value. And now I can get rid of the 5. And if I do this, I'm going to see the exact same response, which is test n25, because I have a default value for this square delegate. So this is, in my opinion, is a very nice feature, which is introduced in C Sharp 12, because it will help us in a lot of situation. Today, we can provide default parameter values to methods, but we could never do that for delegate. So. It's going to be very helpful more than the delegate scenario it's going to be really really helpful when we declare inline lambda where we can define the values and do it because if we are creating delegate and if it's called through a function we can always declare default parameters for the function value itself uh, and which can which can work as well if it is if a delegate is encapsulated but if the delegate is declared through a lambda, this becomes really useful. So that is all I wanted to cover for today's video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to this channel and you think you are getting value out of this channel, please subscribe to the channel. And thanks so much for watching this video.